Here, I'm State Representative Justin Schnett. And I'm State Senator Linda Valentino. We're here just to give you a very quick legislative update on what um, Representative Shinnett and I have been up to this week. And this past week was kind of a short week for us because obviously we had Juno, the major blizzard of 2015 so far. And that really leads into a really interesting conversation about municipal revenue sharing. Because our town and city uh, officials do so much to try to make sure that our roads are safe for us to drive on. They do the plowing and the salt and everything that way. And when their, their budgets are impacted by the governor's proposal to eliminate Near, nearly a quarter of a billion dollars over the next two years with municipal revenue sharing. So that could end up raising a lot of property taxes if that proposal goes through. So we're going to be looking at that very closely. Well, one of the things that we've been doing in the Appropriations Committee is really queuing up a lot of the things with the budget. We've had various commissioners, co commissioners come before us in the Appropriations Committee. We've talked um, several outlines on the budget. Uh, the Department of Corrections has been in, and that's been very interesting what's been happening on the Department of Corrections and especially on the Board of Corrections. I know Representative Shanette and I um, have done several tours and I know you wanted to talk a little bit about the Kennebec County Jail. Yeah, so we went to the Kennebec County Jail, Riverview, we went to Cumberland County Jail, uh, Maine, uh, Maine Emergency Management Agency, but I want to mention the Kennebec County Jail when we toured that correctional facility, I found it really interesting that they had a group of women there that were going through really a rehabilitation of, of their treatment there, which was really interesting because, again, they're not just sitting around waiting for their sentence to be over. They're actually doing something with their time to make sure that their lives are right back on track. And we learned that there was over 21 gangs in the state of Maine, 21. So that was something that I learned that was quite interesting. And, and on top of that, the overcrowding of our jails was a, a really big issue, especially with mentally ill. And on the other side though, the overcrowding is what we saw in the Kennebuck Jail, which right. is a very old jail, um, very narrow hallways. They're not equipped to deal with a lot of the people they have. Right. They actually have in the holding area what they call Riverview North, which are people um, that are trying to get into Riverview but haven't been able to. On the other hand, we went to the Cumberland County Jail the other day, and the Cumberland County Jail actually has a pod that is entirely closed down that they're not using to to house prisoners. And we did talk about um, whether or not we should open up this pod to um, house some of the um, forensic patients that cannot get into Riverview. But again, it comes down to Funding. a matter of money. <laughs> right. And I think one of the best things is that we brought with us um, our York County Sheriff, um, Sheriff Bill King, accompanied right. us on the tours not only to the Kennebec Jail, but to Riverview and to... Because um, he's facing a lot of the same issues down right. in York County. And yeah. so um, obviously we've been to the York County Jail and plan on going back again. So that was a little thing on corrections. And also I want to mention before we go that you can actually see all the bills that we're tackling, over 1,700 bills, and we're going to put a link to that right on the, uh, the, the video caption on this video because it's really important. So you can actually scroll through all the different subject matter, all the different bills that we're tackling. Just remember to hit Control F to find the specific subject matter that you're looking for or you'll be scrolling a while. And just to mention also, Monday we've got the um, tour of the state prison coming right. up. That will be going up to in Warren and a lot of these things um, we're not in session right now is on these days on Monday um, so we're going up uh, we're not compensated it's on our own time we really um, are trying to do this to have a feeling for what we're talking about in these various committees I mean certainly right. you on the criminal justice committee I need to see what we're talking about exactly right. and yeah. it's um it's really eye-opening to go in there so doing these tours on our own time um, have been extremely helpful to us and right. We're planning on doing as many as we can to get out there and see what's going on in the state of Maine. Okay, that's the latest from the State House. We'll see you right back here next week. Thank you.